Hello and welcome to Flory Models Kit Review Time. Today we've got Tacom's 135th scale Panzer 1. Uh, this is the A and B version and you get two kits in one box. So in theory you could do the A version and then do the B version which is quite nice to do. So anyway, I know extremely nothing particularly about the Panzer 1 so excuse my ignorance on this particular review. But anyway, as you can see, nice bit of box art on the front. It does say up here, uh, detailed static display model as always, Lincoln length style tracks included, types A and B uh, markings as well. Uh, there's PE and obviously you do get two kits in one box so nice little touch with that. So there we go, that's some of the, the bits down in there, September 1939. Uh, both types again so we've got the A and B types there and then around on here we've got some of the parts that you can see down in there so obviously this is going to be uh, a lot of duplicates in here purely because of the way it is so we've got some holes let me just try and work this out so there we go two holes and then obviously we've got uh, two top decks as you can see and then we've got turrets two on each side and then obviously we've got uh, sets of uh, tracks that say links and lengths with the actual wheels and various things and then again we've got some more parts down in there and then again lots of duplicates in here because obviously we are making up two and then obviously we've got those and we've got these okay and then we've got a nice little i'm going to say little that's a very small little manual okay it's a little instruction book for this one in there we go so you can see as well we've got the photo etch down in there so we can get this out cleanly there we go do that so again we've got photo etch for, it looks like for the wheels and for some grills and we've got a really nice decent tow cable for once because normally let's face it they are bits of string and again we've got decals down in there for both types so in the world's smallest uh, instruction book you can see We've got the actual ones down on, on here. Just checking the thing on here. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, so yes, various parts down. So starting off with a hull, and it looks like uh, it's going to be just, obviously you're just building one, and then I think it's markings then for the A and B types. So anyway, there we go. So all the running gear and bits and pieces being added. So we've got the actual return wheels, uh, some of the suspension stuff going on here. Again, quite nice. I was wondering what it actually is, if it's some type of mask for these. Uh, so again, for the actual A and B types of the wheels, but I think it actually is for those to be added onto it. So there we go, that's those on, and the wheels being fitted onto this one. And then obviously making up the actual suspension and everything for the actual wheels themselves being fitted onto this one and then onto the other side. And then working our way around, adding that beam that sort of goes between them. Looks like a train. Uh, more wheels being fitted down onto there and then beam on the other side. And then we've got the front end of it being fitted onto this one. And then obviously we've got the rear end going on down and in, in here. And then over on here, we've got, it's funny with the, the, the numbering on this, the way it works. I'm just making sure we do have, it is like ones and twos over this. So again, wheels being fitted down onto this one and then exactly the same on the other side, as you can see, as it makes its way through. So I think what you've actually got, I'm working away, should have done this before. So we've got one and one, one and two. So that's number one, that's number two of this one. So depending which way you're doing it. So any times you see number one, uh, on the here, like three one, that's working on the first one, and then you've got three two working off the second. So that makes a little bit more sense now. So obviously with those ones, and then down in here as well, all right? So again, but by uh, the actual beam being fitted onto the, obviously both of them, and then we've got the two front ends going onto that one as well. And then down in here, we've obviously got the wheels being fitted on the other side, making up the entire lower hull sections right the way through. Link and lead traps, that's quite a nice way of doing it. So it's showing you exactly where each one goes and how it goes in there. So that's pretty straightforward on that, showing those all the way through. So that's obviously your tracks being fitted and a little bit of the stowage on the rears. And then we've got the top plate deck as well, uh, above the actual tracks with the exhaust systems being fitted onto it. And then obviously fitting down onto both of those in step 12. And then making our way along on the actual upper hull as well so all the details being fitted down into those getting all the plating done in those as well the hatch covers things like that all being fitted down into those exhausts as well again looking really nice right the way through so both the exhaust systems are fitted onto there and then obviously top decks uh, decks being fitted down and in 
and then the actual turret systems so again the plating for the actual sort of drop down windows if you like are those all being fitted down into it the machine guns being fitted onto the front of this one and then the turrets being fitted in which is straightforward and there we go so again different versions of it so this is the a type as you can see just down in here so very nice on that one and then we've got the other a type down in here as you can see very nice again very nice indeed and then again right, right through and then we got the b types so this is the b markings going down and into these there's the b's and i'm going to need longer arms <laughs> that's it and then obviously we've got a b in here with all these different color schemes right the way through so yeah pretty good stuff all right so we might as well dive straight into the decals seems we've got them here they're nice and small let's get in there we go so we're on one sheet for all of them looking pretty nice can't see any problems with those good solid colors and again they're quite small but it said it is a small tank which is nice so that's why we get two in here so again we've got a photo etch for these parts as well so we've got these these and these so very nice indeed with the actual photo etch. We also get the tow cable, which is fair enough down in there as well. So that's quite nice. Then we've got, we start, I'll just start grabbing up parts and we'll see where we go with it. So we've got that top turret. And again, it's got the recess details down into it right the way through. And so there's nothing really on the inside, but you can see the mechanics for them being in the open position when they're lifted up looks pretty nice got a good mix of raised and recessed details on those and then whilst we've got it here we can have a look at the turret and the lower hull okay so this is your lower hull actually really nice detail again this is all raised details so it's looking all pretty nice all the bolting detail underneath really good around here at the back very nice indeed and then down in here we've got the top deck and again nice mixture of raised and recessed details all down in there so that's actually very nice indeed okay so where does one begin in all of this so <coughs> I'm going through here and we're just because obviously we've got duplicates of all the sprues in one form or another so again this is sprue d very nice indeed and then straight away you can see we've got that nice sort of checkerboard across the top all the actual suspension and the running gear looking all pretty darn good all the smaller parts pretty much got a nice radiator system the exhaust type system down in there all looks very nice indeed and on the blind side ejector pins very very light nothing very heavy in there these obviously just all push off you literally just stick your finger in there and pull them out of the way again so that's those pretty easy clean up with that and again it looks like we've got different ones down in here with sort of duplicate parts on and things like that so again it's one of those where we'll try and figure this out so I think obviously we've got the differences between the two types so down in here on sprue E as you can see we've got more of the top deck some more of the parts down in there wooden box various parts all looking good clean no sink marks no flash on anything that I can see and again they've done this thing where the actual part is on the top of the actual sprue which is actually quite a nice touch very nice okay so down in here we are going to get duplicates now so what we've actually got is a duplicate with the turret system and everything this is f so as you can see down in here we've got the suspension we've got the frontal armor plate we've got the top hatch we've got the gun mantle down in here looks like we've got a nice jack system more of the running gear we've got the barrels over here looking quite nice some of the handles various parts down into there and that's all pretty good got a couple of eject pins on there but it depends if you're going to have this open or closed so 
not really a problem and obviously with this one it's a duplicate because obviously with the both the kits uh, as is I think most of this in here so this is spruce C so again this is another little spruce C as a duplicate so again a little bit of link and length I think that's the idler wheel I don't know if that's part of the exhaust system on the back there uh, looks like some cans on there various bits that's pretty straightforward so that's a, a duplicate with the C and then we've got B down in here which is another little bag I can figure out how to get into it CV bag I can't get in can't find my way in there it is okay another one so this is B so again, another little bit of link and length, some suspension, the wheels, got that like I beam down in there as well for the actual wheels coming around, that's fine. And then down in here we've got screw A, where we've got multiples of, because obviously it was two and two, so we just get one out. So this is actually more of the link and length type track. So we've got the actual drive and return wheels various things with the road wheels on there as well and again that track system looks all pretty nice good pair of snips on that get that off with zero sort of cleanup required afterwards and again we've got these tiny little details across the top here towing eyes bolt heads things like that uh, very very nice indeed again this is one of those it looks really really complicated but you've got two kits in here so obviously that's the reason why it's complicated because i said before we have the the tilled holes and all these different parts it's just getting your head around it i think the instructions could be a lot easier instead of them doing it twice all the way through they could just point out when that's a different version of because let's face it a lot of kits are like that but it's an interesting way of doing it it is a very small book so it makes it a little bit more complicated because it's quite small as well it took me a couple of minutes to get my head around it as well but apart from that, detail-wise, really nice. Let's face it, the Panzer 1 is quite a small tank anyway. So again, to get two in a box gives you a couple of options. As I say, doing A and B versions like that, you've got a couple of different marking options in there as well if you wanted to jazz it up a little bit. And you will end up with a nice pair of tanks doing it this way. So in some ways, if you were doing it as one, it's almost the same size of a 72nd Tiger, uh, King Tiger. So doing it like this with two in one, I totally get it. It's just the instructions, I think, could have been laid out little bit better detail wise beautiful nice bit of photo etch the details are all there no flash there's no sync marks on this one it should be a really straightforward build as Tacom normally is so there we go that's the Panzer 1 A and B versions 2 in 1 kit 135th scale by Tacom.